So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Straight right hand, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Right punches there. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times in the face. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Try to establish that jab. Keep your hands up. Swing and a miss by Choi. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Punch over the top. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful takedown lane. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Warm set for the underground one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Yeah, I've heard him a little bit. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Three minutes remain in the round. Right hand punch with the clinch. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, 
Oh, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give him. Amir Khani's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Nice punch by Choi. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Amir Khani's got the tie clinch now. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good punch. Choi gets absolutely melted by that head kick. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the play. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just misses there with the left. Straight to the body there by Choi. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Ooh, what a punch. Push the pace. Shake it off. Just over three minutes to go. Forget the turnover in that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. with that jab attempted. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his part. Oh, looking to set up the counter kick. Ah, uh, that one's no good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Oh, nice jab to the head by Amir Khani. 15 seconds. 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Nice punch there. Amir Khani's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at him working Ooh. at trying to shut the loop. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left. Oh, straight right. Back and forth we go. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. There's no tell on that leg kick. That punch no good. Just missed with the left there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Good fight here under two to go. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Amir Khan. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Back to the feet now. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. size advantage against most opposition in this division. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that Oh, kick. huge right hand! Wow! And just like that, the fight is over! Wow! Wow! What a fight! Beautiful.
beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of it.